So we're going to look at acid anhydrides. The main thing is, is don't panic when you see these appear in the exam, because they probably will. Um, you can think of them as just two carboxylic acids joined together. Now when you think of the word anhydride, anhydride means without water. So here I've drawn two ethanoic acid molecules. You notice one, the one in green is, you know, upside down to what you'd normally um, draw it. But I just want to show that if we remove this here, which is of course H2O, you can join them up as so. And that's all acid anhydrides are, is they're just two carboxylic acid molecules joined together through that central oxygen atom there. So this one here now joins them together. If you start with ethanoic acid, this would become ethanoic anhydride, and that's how you name them. So ethanoic, um, well, acid anhydrides are really useful to make esters. And you notice this is um, not an equilibrium. If you have a carboxylic acid react with an alcohol, that is an equilibrium. So I've drawn my ethanoic anhydride in blue and my methanol in red. And let's join them up. So do you draw in the same way as you would draw, uh, draw your ester? Start with your carboxylic acid. Uh, so here I'm going to start with my ethanoic anhydride. And once you've drawn that bit, stop and then go to your alcohol and draw that O there and then your CH3 there. And this would be carb, this would of course be methyl ethanoate. What are you left over with? Well, you're left over with this here and also the H there. So that becomes ethanoic acid, like so. And that's the reaction for making a ester using an acid anhydride. The main thing to remember is you must use dry conditions to do this. If you get acid anhydrides anywhere near water, um, they will hydrolyze to give you the acid back. So if you get water near this guy, you will just make ethanoic acid. So these reactions must be done in hydrous conditions.